India was a very giving child. You knew she was different. She's what we called an old soul. She was very unique in the sense that, you know, we'd often get her a toy. And if somebody liked a toy she was playing with, she would give them the toy, even if it was three days old. She liked to make other people happy. She would just make these kids feel special and brighten their day. And, you know, had she not died, we probably wouldn't have heard those stories. But India was such a kind and compassionate kid, and she taught me how to give. India got a rare bacteria. India was perfectly healthy and 48 hours later she passed away. It's really my life goal to continue to keep her memory alive, and keep the compassion, and what we say with her foundation is to continue to spread the love. Kim very much wanted to um, perpetuate India's giving and India's friendship and we came across an opportunity down at the Cortez Family Shelter where uh, hundreds of children throughout the year stay for three months at a time, many having to go through holidays, birthdays, without a home. So every month we go down with custom gift bags for each of the children, dependent on their age and gender. Um, we go down with birthday candles and blowers and games and arts and crafts and really make them feel special on their birthday. So since then, um, our foundation has grown in multiple ways. Um, we feel like there's so many people who want to help and want to give. And so we've gone from the birthday boxes to the homeless shelter to creating a, um, a running team where we all run together and train for a half marathon. And we fundraise. And with those funds, we take half and give them to Donate Life, the organ donation foundation that's here in San Diego. The other half of that money that we raise through Team India, we buy wheelchairs and give them to people who are less fortunate. Twice we've gone down to uh, Puebla, Mexico and given away free wheelchairs to people who come. And to see the look on these people's face when they receive mobility, we feel like we have done India's memory justice. We've given away hundreds of wheelchairs, we've given away 200 backpacks, filled with school supplies to kids that go to a special school downtown San Diego for homeless children. We've given away 200 Halloween costumes, and I don't even think I could find the words to tell you the joy that those kids have when they put on a Halloween costume and really get to go trick-or-treating. As it develops, we find more and more things we can do, and more and more people reach out with touching stories, and whether it's through uh, you know, something we've given away through the birthday and the shelters, the wheelchairs, or even the Friendship Fairy book, which was a book written by India's teacher and has real examples of how she reached out to other children. Well, the story is basically uh, about a little fairy who she's about to get her wings and she's every four-year-old fairy gets her wings and she has to go through a series of like little tests whether she can be um, gosh the most creative fairy or the fastest, the smartest, the most outgoing. So she goes through all these different tests and she, every time she goes to try for it she ends up helping a friend or helping a teacher or helping somebody. So by the end of the story, she's sad because she didn't get her wings, but they end up giving her the wings for being the best friend. So that's basically the premise of the story. We, we just want as many kids as possible to be able to read that book and learn from it and hopefully pass the spirit of friendship on. What I believe is most um, special about the India Phillips Foundation for me obviously is the person it's named after, but also that it's really a way to include all of our children in a way to perpetuate that spirit and really teach some of the kids how to give. I hope that when people find out about the Indy Phillips Foundation that they're inspired to number one, be an organ donor and sign up. Also, if they want to get involved with the Cortez family, they can go down and join us once a month. There's an opportunity to donate for the wheelchairs that we're raising money for. And if nothing else, then to just be inspired to be compassionate and to pay it forward in their own personal lives. India was such a giving child. She taught me how to give in different ways. And I just want to continue that spirit, continue her legacy, and continue to do that through her foundation.